Hey guys, it's Jessica. I hope you're having a great start to your week on this wonderful Monday. I know I am. School is almost over. I can have a break. Yes, but enough about me. Um, this week's vlog is going to be about suicide. Now, spring is the most common time for people to consider suicide or they tell family members and friends that they have considered suicide or have attempted it. Um, this topic is very personal to me because one of my closest friends in the entire world who, have I, who I have known for about 10 years, going on 11 actually I think, um, did consider committing suicide. Um, he had just lost a friend to cancer and I believe he found out that another friend um, got cancer as well. So he was in a very, very bad place and he felt like he couldn't talk to anybody about what he was feeling um, and he felt very isolated and alone. Um, so um, one day he just considered ending it and on that day I called him because I was also going through a really rough time myself and I needed someone to talk to and I automatically thought of him. So we just talked for hours about anything and everything, just nonstop talking. Um, and we said goodbye and I didn't think anything of the phone call until a few years later he brought it up and was like, you know, I was considering suicide um, and your call saved my life and that meant so much to me on so many levels. I felt incredibly lucky that he did not try to commit suicide. I felt really blessed that he is still with us. Um, I also felt really touched that um, just a simple conversation with me um, made him change his mind. Um, I know that a lot of people that consider suicide feel incredibly alone and that they don't have anybody to turn to, um, and um, people that have depression are more likely to um, have suicidal thoughts. Um, some medications can cause suicidal thoughts. Um, uh, there's so many factors that can cause suicidal thoughts. It's not just, oh, some teenager that is, um, grunge, uh, I don't know, I've, I've had parents say that to me before and it just always throws me off, like, you really think that teenagers are the only people that consider suicide? No, everybody of all ages consider it. It is a very serious topic and it is something that needs to be considered, um, uh, seriously and not to be taken lightly. Um, so if you are a friend or a family member of somebody that has attempted suicide before or you know has suicidal thoughts, please, um, just be around them. Give them all of your love and try to help them in any way you can. I know that sometimes they try to push people away, but do not just abandon them. They need all the help they can get. Um... Uh, just, you have to help people that have issues that you may not be able to see. Um, I know that for me, I have very severe social anxiety, so I had panic attacks for about three years, and I was not taken serious at all. A lot of people thought that I was faking them, and that just made me feel so belittled and alone. And if I felt so much pain from being told that a panic attack wasn't real, then imagine how somebody that is seriously considering suicide feels. You have to treat them with respect. You have to help them in any way you can. Do not just blow them off and think that you know more than them because they are younger than you. Uh, do not think that you can't help them because they're older than you. You can do a lot of things. You can call a hotline. I know that there are a ton for the U.S. and Canada. 
um, there are hotlines for things other than suicide. I will leave some down below if um, you want to look at them. Um, just, yeah, uh, these people need help and they should not be ignored for any reason. Um, so this vlog was a little bit of a sad one, um, uh, but I hope that you learned something, hopefully. <laughs> um, please like this video, give it a thumbs up if, um, it helped you in any way, um, and comment down below if you have any, um, tips to help people that, um, are you know that have considered suicide um please remember to subscribe to the other amazing flirt vloggers and i will see you here next week hopefully bye